Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the fabric playlist. In this video, we will be discussing about how we can build the lake house. And uh, I think from my previous videos, you already know what is lake house means. So let's try to build a sample lake house in this video from the scratch. And also, I will try to upload some data. There is something called WWI data. That means wide world importers. It's like an imaginary database uh, or it's an imaginary data set available from the Microsoft under the fabric samples folder. I will show you the location. So there we have something called customers data. So we will take that data and we will try to ingest that data using data flows. And then we will try to see how we can query that data using a SQL endpoint and maybe creating a sample report also directly. So end to end, like how you work with the database, uh, sorry, with the lake houses, we will discuss that. So let's go ahead and do that. So first step will be, I am going to my fabric workspace and I am right now under my workspace. So what I am going to do, I am going to hit this new button and select more options because I want to create a lake house from the scratch first. So selecting the lake house option. So I will name my lake house like WWI lake house. Okay. Let me hit create button to create this lake house under my workspace. So once the lake house gets created, I will try to upload some information here. That means ingest some data here. Okay. So here, let me select this Gen2 option. In our previous video, we uploaded data using this upload files option. This time, I will take this data flow Gen2 option. Okay. So that means indirectly I am taking the data flow option. So let me hit this new data flow Gen2 option. This creates the data flow by the way. So here, I can hit this import from text or CSV file option. So let me select that. And here I will upload one file locally, which is available in my system. So from where I got file is, let me show you that. If I go to the new tab, there is something called github.com. Everybody knows that. Inside that, if you go to the Microsoft organization, there are some repositories. For the fabric also, there are some repositories. So if I scroll down here, you see the repositories option here, right? So here I will be searching for the fabric samples repository. So let me search like fabric hyphen samples. Okay. So under this fabric hyphen samples repository, there is doc samples. Go to that folder. And then you see there is a folder called data engineering. Navigate inside that folder. Uh, then uh, if you see this CSV file, dimension customer.csv. So this is the file where this wide world importers data set has the customer information. I'm just trying to load that information using the data flows option into the lake house. Okay. So if I open this CSV file, I should see the data. There is a customer key, then the customer ID with respect to the WWI company and the customer name, billing to the customer, like what category billing it is, category, billing group, like what kind of group it is, whether it is a win zip tip toys or whether it is a toddler toys or kids toys. There is a huge customer data based upon the billing information, blah, blah. So let's take this data into our lake house. So I selected the data flow option. So I selected the upload file. I have already downloaded that CSV file in my local. To download this file, you need to hit this download icon here. Okay. So let me go back. Browse the file from my local. Under downloads folder, I have this dimensions underscore CSV file. I am uploading that. So once you upload that, the next button will enable there. Hit that next button there. Let me hit next button here. It is giving the preview of the data. You can cross check it and hit the create button to create that particular data flow, which we are trying to create. You can see the prop under properties section. See data loaded here in a tabular fashion here from here to here. Okay. And here we can rename that data set, whatever we loaded it. So maybe I want to load it like a dim customers. So let me rename a little bit here. Let me remove this dim cust. That is the name because dimension customers. Then here we can choose the data set where we want to load it as a destination location. So I want to take this local data and keep in the lake house, right? So that's the thing which by default selected here as a lake house option, but you can change that by yourself also. Okay. So to change it first, remove this. Let me remove this here. So it says that are you sure you want to remove the destination? 
and once you remove it you can add the destination here and select the lake hose option and here lake hose option click next I will search my workspace here under my workspace I have that WWI lake hose so that is the lake hose where I want to load this entire data as a table so what we are doing we are taking the CSV file and using the data flow we are loading it into a table and by default in lake house tables will be delta format tables delta tables okay so let me hit next now uh, this will basically giving the source side column names and the data types let me save these settings so once the settings got saved hit this publish button to publish this data flow into your workspace see once the data flow got published you will see there is some rotational uh, icon here so what that means is right now this data flow is loading it okay so we have to wait until it loads then we can rename this data flow to something else you can see it loaded successfully right now you see the icon is loading under the refresh column what that means it is actually running the data flow that means data is it is pulling from the excel and loading into the lake house table so once that refresh completes we should see a table in a lake house so let's wait for this pin to over here that indicates that data flow execution completed and data got refreshed into the lake house table dim cast right that's the table name we gave see refresh completed now click these three icons and then go to the properties here and i will rename this data flow name like maybe like a load lake house table so that's the name i will give for the data flow and i am hitting the save button to save the data flow so data flow got saved let me open this lake house and uh, now if i refresh this tables see i am seeing the dim customer table when i hit that table i should see data in that table see totally 403 rows came there and how this data came data is in my local csv file then data flow came into the picture and taken the data and loaded into the lake house because in the destination of the data flow we have selected lake house so in lake house under this table the data got loaded okay and this table is a delta format table okay if you don't know what is delta format table in my synapse playlist last few videos explains that so now we have a data in this delta table now is it possible to use the sql endpoint to query this table of course yes what you can do it here click this icon and select the sql endpoint so the same table now I want to write a SQL query and to query that information. So that is called SQL endpoint. So using a SQL language, I should be able to talk to the table and query the information. So I'm going to the SQL endpoint and once it loads it, we will create a new query there and we will try to run a query there. So you can see right now under DBO schema, the table is available. The preview is also available here. Let me select this new SQL query option here and this is where I can write a query. So I have one query Henry that will perform the group by on the table. So let me paste this query and what is our table name is my table name is dim cast right. So let me remove this and correct the table name. See now I what basically I am doing it here is I am trying to perform the group by building group taking the customers data and grouping by based on the buying category okay and i am getting the count there so let me run this so once you write the query hit this run button to execute the results so that means technically i am writing a sql to hit the data which is there in my lake house table and i am able to query the information as well if you see the results here it shows that see we have the buying group this and also we have the total like toddler toys there are 23 customers under the kids toys category there are 15 customers so that's the data it will give so far it is fine we have taken the we, we created a lake house we ingested the data using data flow into the lake house table and that lake house table we are querying using the sql query as well using a sql endpoint now if you want to create a report from the, any data which is available in lake house you need to create a semantic model first semantic model is imagine like a, a model behind your report so what you can do it here is you can create a semantic model first actually and then you can try to create a report as well so right now we have only one table you see manage default power base semantic model when you click that this will ask you to select the table in the past all the tables used to come automatically now i am selecting the dim customer table 
using that table, I want to keep that table in the semantic model backside of the report and using that table, I want to create some report. So taking that table into the semantic model and confirming the settings here, this should create a semantic model. Once the semantic model ready, we can go and open the semantic model. From there, we can create a Power BI report also. So when it is loading here, let's go back to Lake House here by clicking the Lake House icon. See, this is the one, right? So let me click the Lake House icon. Okay, no, let's go back to the, our workspace. Sorry. We see, you see, we have a data flow. We have the Lake House and we have the SQL into point two, but we don't have a semantic model here. So let me refresh this because we have just now created a semantic model. So it should come. You see here, semantic model came. Let me open this semantic model, WWA Lake House semantic model. Please note that semantic model name will be exactly similar to the Lake House. And you can see here, it will give you all the tables also. Right now, there is only one table available, which is showing under this tables section, because that is the only table we added into the semantic model. Now, under the semantic model, you see it, it is showing that, uh, of course, semantic models comes under the lake house. So it shows that lake house is available, SQL endpoint is available, a Gen 2, that means data flow Gen 2 is available. Everything it is showing it there. So let's try to create one report using this table. So what I will do under this explore this data, clicking this auto create report option, I will choose. Instead of creating my own report, I can create that as well. So I am going with the auto create option. Fabric itself will create a report for me by understanding your data. Cool. See how fastly it created a report without any manual intervention. Right now it has taken few columns and performed certain group bys and then created some visuals based on the data available. Okay. Uh, but of course you can create all this report by your own as well uh, from the basic level uh, that we will discuss in our upcoming videos. So here I have chosen the auto create option which automatically creates the report. So if you see the entire video, what we have covered, we have created a lake house. We have taken a sample data from my local and ingested the data into the lake house table using the data flows and the lake house tables was delta tables. And to query that tables, we have used the SQL endpoint capability to query that information. Then we added that lake house tables into the semantic model, which will be backside of the report. And once the semantic model is ready, we opened the semantic model and we have chosen auto create report option that created the report automatically for us based on the tables available in the semantic model. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got an idea how the end to end lake house build will actually happen. So this is the overview at a high level. Uh, we will deep dive this uh, next video. We will discuss about ingesting data into the lake house, which is related to the WWI importers data set and we will continue from there. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Wafa Studies YouTube channel. Thank you.